Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and thank you for watching the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I showed you how to create a multi layer drillable map using different layer types. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new direct query capability added to our MS SQL Azure connector. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content, instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. All right, let's get started. So you might recall last year we made an announcement that we released direct query capability within Databricks and Snowflake. Well, now we've added this capability to other connections as well. And as of, I believe, the May 30th release, you could now do this with Azure SQL, Azure Synapse Analytics, Microsoft SQL Server, and Postgres. So I'm just going to use Azure for this example, and it's going to be fairly simple. The use case here is, again, if you don't recall, you can always refer to the other materials, but it allows applications to directly query the database using SQL pushdown as the user interacts through the data visualizations and filtering. It can help with compute costs depending on the platform, uh, also can work for real-time scenarios. And I even did a video on on-demand app generation, uh, querying larger data sets and then breaking it down to smaller data sets for filtering. You can refer to those resources if you wish. Okay, so let me just show you how this works. Uh, I'm going to create a new app. And as you know, I always provide you some tips and tricks along the way, and I'll explain what those will be in a moment. So this new app, we're going to uh, call it, this is called MS SQL Direct Query and click create. Now the reason I'm creating a new app is the direct query capability for the connection is only available when you create the app. It's not available from the other connection screens. So when you see this get started adding data to your app, files and other sources, you're going to click that button and then you select from the available sources. Now in this case I have one set up already for Azure SQL. When I click that source it's going to bring me to the default data selection. If I continue from here, basically it'll allow me to select my tables, my fields, and it'll insert the load script and load the data into the app, the traditional way that we do things. However, if you go to the upper right, you will now see a button for go to direct query. And this is where you can directly query the tables and the fields. And you could also do joins and other things. I only have a simple table here. You could explore the rest on your own. But from here, I'm just going to select my inventory database and my owner. And you can see I have one table here. Now I have other videos on this to go into like multi-table where you can choose the tables, create the relationship, etc. So now I'll click next. And being there is only one table, it's just gonna select those fields and those particular data structures. So now I'm just gonna grab type, holding my shift key, and I'm just gonna create a filter with it. Now, by default, it creates a checkbox filter. There isn't any um, drop-down filter for this. And then I'm also going to grab platform. Okay, and the reason I'm doing this is just to show you how the data is going to update in real time when I perform my selection. So, for example, if I choose accessory, you can see 3DO is selected. If I choose console, you can see what's available under console. If I choose game, you know, the different platforms update depending on the selections. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Azure database. And let me just refresh my session here. And log into my query editor. And now you can see there's my inventory table. I'm just going to click on edit data. And right here we have a platform, NES. Let's just call this one Mike's platform. Okay, and then I'm going to click save, and that's going to basically update the data. So now I'm going to go back, and what you're going to see is the platform 
Mike's platform will now be in this list when I perform my next query or even if I just refresh the page. So for example here, I'm just going to click accessory and then console. And if we scroll down, it usually takes a few seconds depending on you know when the data is updated. But it does pop up because it's issuing SQL to the data structure. And there it is, Mike's platform. Okay, so if we go back and let's just make this now the Atari 2600 because that's actually the correct platform for video chess. And we save that. And then instead of performing the selections here, I'm just going to refresh. Probably already made the update, but you'll see Mike's platform is now removed. And it's no longer in the list. So now just the Atari 2600 is there. Okay, so that's how direct query works. Uh, as I mentioned, there's other resources that go into uh, deeper use cases. Uh, it's just a quick video to show you that we've added this capability to a few more data connections uh, to support those particular use cases if needed. I'll be sure to put those additional videos in the description where this video is posted. And please make sure to join the Click community if you have any additional questions. If you ask questions in the YouTube channel. I'll do my best to accommodate, but most likely we'll also point you to the community to further ask a question if you need more support. Okay, guys, hope this was helpful. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.